Hey everybody, this is John, and today I'm reviewing a laptop cooler cooling pad with six fans. This is made by a company called Egogo, and it's available on Amazon currently for $17.99. So in case you haven't seen one of these before, it's just a pad that you put your laptop on top of, and basically the fans in it run off of the USB in your computer and it cools off the bottom of the computer. So if you have a laptop that tends to overheat, you put this pad under your computer, plug it into your USB port on your computer, and it will keep everything cool underneath. So this particular model has six fans. And if you go onto the Amazon site, one of the first things it says is do not worry about the LED lights being annoying. You can barely notice when you pick up your laptop and cooler fan together. Every one of these cooling devices that I've seen has an on and off switch. So maybe the LEDs are just to let you know that the fan's running. Uh, seems to me like they don't really need to have an LED like that. But like I said, if it's telling you that it's on or off, it may be a good thing to have. So the top of this is made with a metal mesh and then the sides are made with a pretty hard plastic. So it seems like it's going to be pretty durable. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and haven't had any issues with it. And the way it works is pretty simple. It has two USB ports on the side of it. And basically all you do is you take the cord that it comes with. It has two of the same kind of USB jacks there. And you plug one into the computer and then you plug the other one into the side of the cooling pad here. And then it has these two switches. Each one of these switches controls three of the fans. I don't know why they put two there. They could have just as easily put only one. I have a wireless mouse USB, I don't know what you call this little thing, it plugs in there, it picks up my wireless mouse, right? So the idea is you can take that out, you plug in the the cable for the pad cooler thing, and then you take the wireless mouse plug and you put it in the other one of these jacks on the cooling pad itself. That way you can still use whatever you had plugged into this USB jack on your computer in the first place. Okay, so I have the pad plugged into the computer. The computer is off camera here. I just want to show you how these little switches work. There are little dials on the side here. And like I said before, each one turns on three of the fans. So the first one that I did here turned on these three, and then the second one turned on these three. And I'm going to sort of check and see with the lights on you can kind of see with my studio lights on you can kind of see the leds in here but i'm going to see if i can tell if dialing the the volume control because that's what these little switches usually are for and everything i've seen them on i'm going to see if that changes the rpm or if i can tell if it's changing anything Yeah, it sounds like the dial controls advance your RPMs on the fans. Again, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. To my mind, if you have this thing on, you just would want it on and keep your computer as cool as possible. So anyway, since I have it here like this, I'm going to go ahead and put the computer on top of it, and we're going to see how it fits. Okay, so it looks like it's somewhat of a tight fit this is a 15 inch macbook pro so but it works i mean it's there uh, one thing i'm a little concerned one thing i'm a little concerned about is that the the fans are all right in the middle here and it seems to me like it would be better if the fans worked up here as well now, as this is oriented toward the camera, it's upside down. So, but I'm doing this in a way that makes sense to me. But do you see what I mean? Because I know that this computer gets really hot 
up here near the top. I think it's where the graphics card goes into the monitor. So it seems like it might be better. Something they might want to consider if they're going to continue making these is to make the fans further out toward the top of the thing. The pad also comes with these little sort of kickstand things. If you want to keep your computer up at a slight angle, I use these always because it makes the typing a lot more ergonomic. Since the description on Amazon talks specifically about the LEDs, I'm going to show you how bright they are. I've turned my studio lights down a bit. Unless you are like really sensitive to light and you're trying to sleep and you have this thing next to your bed or something like that, I really don't think you'll ever even notice that they're on. One thing I'm a little bit concerned about is that the circuitry for these fan dial things over here is exposed. And it seems like you would want that to be covered. Because if anything ever spills in there, it'll probably fry the boards and they would I imagine they wouldn't work anymore. So I'm not sure why they left that open. So overall, I think this is a pretty good product. It does what it's supposed to do. It does what they advertise. It comes with everything you need. One thing I was a little bit surprised by is that the fans are loud compared to the other one of these devices that I have. It may have something to do with the fact that the other one I have has only two fans and they're bigger. I don't know. And, you know, comparing to this that has six motors running to run all six fans... So it's possible that it's just because there are so many fans. I don't think that it's loud enough to warrant taking a spike off, but I did want to mention it because it's something I noticed. So for $17.99, I think the value is here. So my final verdict on this product is 10 out of 10 spikes.